Before we start this video, I wanna to talk to you about a watch I got from this company called Yode. Yode sent me a wooden watch that came in this wooden box and it has magnets on it to make it feel like magical. And this is what the watch looks like. It's absolutely beautiful and they want you to have one as well. So they're doing a giveaway on my channel. Click the link down below, you fill out the little whatever and you could be entered into a contest that will give you a $180 e-gift card and then you could just get a watch and we could both be, oops, styling, profiling together. This contest will go on for approximately the next two weeks and during that time you all get a $25 discount and that's represented by a code that is also down in the description. Super easy to find. Get a watch, then we'll all have watches. Could you imagine all the time we'll never lose track of? It's almost the end of the summer. There's a holiday coming up in the autumnal or winter months. They make great gifts, so get, uh, get them if you're interested. Hi Mike, I recently started watching your YouTube channel and it was kind of perfect because you do advice stuff. I don't really expect you to read this, but I just wanted to see if there's any advice that you can give me. Also, I watched you on SourceFed, but I never got around to your channel until recently and you are one of the funniest people on the internet, so keep on doing that. Hey, thank you. Make a man feel good. So on to the problem. I dated this girl for a short time, something like a year ago, and even though it was short, it was great. I've had one of those before. I feel that way every time I have Oreos. We became really close really quickly and it didn't feel like I had to try to be anyone else around her. I fell really hard. Then things started to fizzle out and we ended up breaking up after only a few months. Fast forward to about a week. Fast forward to about a week ago. We haven't talked since the breakup, but we Fast forward to about a week ago, we talked, what? Holy shit, man, here's what it says. Fast forward to about a week ago, we hadn't talked since the breakup, but she recently, fuck, man. Fast forward to about a week ago, we hadn't talked since the breakup, but she recently mentioned that she may not want to be in a relationship, but instead try to be friends with benefits. I'm just so happy we got through the sentence. My immediate thought, my immediate thought, man. Now that's me. That's my fault. My immediate thought was yes, because I would love to have her in my life again, but I'm afraid that I'll catch feelings again and she won't want to even hook up anymore. Sorry for the run on sentences. I'm not the best writer, but I just wanted to know if you had any advice re regarding casual hookups with an ex. Sorry for bothering you. No bother. No bother at all. All right. Hey. Hello, it's me, Mike, the person you called the funny, the absolute funniest person on the internet. Also, I watched you on SourceFed, but I never got around to your channel until recently, and you are one of the funniest people on the internet, so keep on doing that. Hey, thank you. Now, why would I edit that to prove myself wrong? The good news is that you could be doing a lot of kissing soon. That's fun. Bad news is, if you still have feelings for this girl, shit's gonna get all f***ed. And you know that you do because you just brought it up just now. If you knew that your feelings weren't an issue, this video would look like this. Because there would be no letter because you would be kissing. Here's a broad, sweeping, general, correct, 100% true statement. Friends with benefits only works if both of the people in it want the exact same thing. Das it, no exceptions. If you both decide that you want cheesecake and you text each other drunk, at 2.30 a.m. saying, come over for some cheesecake, and she brings the cheesecake, and you bring chips and feelings, disaster. She's gonna be like, thanks for showing up. But also, what the fuck? Chips and feelings, Pringles and feels, ruffles and regrets, Fritos and feelings, Netflix and not gonna happen anymore. You'll be a sad boy, and you'll have greasy fingers until the fall. Autumnal grease fingers, that's you. And check this out, maybe not expecting this part, you're a young guy. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes in your life. Heartbreak is unavoidable, so do whatever the fuck you were gonna do anyway. If you're sitting there on your couch watching this video on your phone being like, but I know it's probably gonna suck, but how bad can it really get? Do it and find out because that's exactly what you're gonna do anyway. I'm just saying, if you'd like less of a headache this summer, make sure you're both on the same page or it has a pretty good chance of ending horribly. Like Vanilla Sky. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to tell you guys uh, when I'm doing stand-up. I'll be with the Hodge Twins doing stand-up. Uh, Wednesday the 9th at the Irvine Improv. The 10th, Oxnard Improv. These are all in California. 11th, probably somewhere. Hollywood Improv. 12th, Hollywood Improv. At the 19th. At the 19th or on the 19th? On the 19th. I'll be at the Comedy Palace with Andrew Delman and Elliot Morgan. That's in San Diego. On the 25th, I'll be in somebody's garage in Pasadena. 28th, we're back in the Improv Lab on Melrose in Hollywood, um, and then on the 31st, we're in the improv.
Melrose, Hollywood. Come have you have a stand up time. Come have a stand up night. I reminded myself of Sam Basher when I did that just now. Love you.